Hey again everybody, Robert184, 2Rs2Bs, Gundam.tk, and I can't believe, but it's already been a month, and the Gundam World Cup has come to an end, with 32 beginning, but only one going undefeated all the way to the end to be named champion. Namely, Hero Yui's Gundam Wing Zero Endless Waltz version. And this thing, combined with its weapons, nostalgia, kicking off the whole Gundam boom for a whole lot of people, and the fact that it's just got the most unique set of looks that you'll probably ever see in a Gundam, was enough for you to crush Unicorn in the voting and despair for all the Universal Century fans because the Another Centuries took this whole thing, although it was close, right up to the end. Looking back on the whole thing now, from the very first round, Wing Zero looked like it was going to do very well, getting 796, the most in the whole competition, up against the Victory Gundam, which finished with the fewest at 154. But for me, probably my favorite match of the whole thing was in the quarterfinals when Nu took on Double O. And that, it ended up, it was tied right up to like the 23rd hour out of the 24. And Nu ended up winning by only 7 votes against Double O which really sent Double O, it began its tailspin out of the competition. And speaking of tailspin, Seed lost 4 out of 5 at the beginning. God Gundam looked good with Shining and God going through to the next round. They both lost. Then Double O lost 2 out of 3, despite having 3 into the quarterfinals. But along the way, the other thing that really blew me away was the UC-AC split. The fact that it went 16, then 8, and then 4, and of course I rigged the semifinals to make sure that it was 1 and 1, representing both of the centuries in the final but the fact that it went that random and it didn't wasn't all ac fans wasn't all uc fans along the way was something that i found to be pretty cool and my favorite my biggest surprise really about this whole thing though was strike freedom which is something that i to be honest if i was betting i would have put money on strike freedom at the whole beginning but it was crushed early by quanta which was crushed by exia which was crushed by wing zero and that also crushed Unicorn, so if you want to apply the transitive property, which perfectly applies to Gundam World Cups, I'm sure, uh, Strike Freedom is totally useless compared to anything from Double O or Wing, it seems. Although, on the other hand, Wing Zero, the anime version, crashed out pretty early, so the Wing Zero custom winning, again, somewhat surprising, but how much does form and uh, the fact that that o movie in OVA was pretty cool play into it? I don't know, that's something that's got to be up to you. Something I've been asked along the way quite a few times was, Robert, which one are you supporting? And uh, to be honest, I supported that I wanted the turn A to win this whole thing. Uh, the, the reason that I said it, I, I'm not choosing the criteria for the voting is just because if you walked into a U.S. presidential voting booth in 2008 to choose between, or 2007, whatever, between Obama and McCain, you can't tell somebody to control how they vote. So the fact that people are going to come and vote, you can limit it to foreign policy, but people are going to vote based on geography, age, whatever they want to choose. So I wanted to apply the same thing here. Personally, I would have voted for turn A based on the strength of the anime and just how incredibly strong the MS is, or the doll, or whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, it getting crushed by the ground Gundam, which wasn't too disappointing for me because I like that one too. But then, of course, the whole 08th MS team went out but yeah, so turn A would have been my pick, and look where that got me. The final thing that I want to talk about is just the passion that a lot of people have put into this. People have been commenting and fighting back and forth and arguing about that, and I've really enjoyed a lot of the back and forth. The only thing is, I hope that some people take, uh, ignore some of the negativity, and I hope that from being exposed to all these different Gundams, MSs, and then the shows and the characters, whatever, that you'll try something, go watch it, see what you think, and form your own opinions, and don't be afraid to cheer for whichever Gundam or show you like, and at the same time, yeah, there are some stinkers out there, so keep that in mind when you go watch. Now with a look at the defeated finalist, the Unicorn Gundam, which did pretty well despite the fact that it was relatively unknown until it got uh, the OVA made, and even though that it's only two-sixths of the way in, quite an impressive standing to knock off the new and a bunch of other big guns to get here. But what I want to hear from you is anything at all about this whole World Cup process. What did you think of the process, the contestants, the voting, uh, things that you would have done differently, suggestions here and there? Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Did you have a good time? Was it a waste of your time? Do you want to just see reviews? Anyway, the fact that a thousand people are out voting pretty much every single day 
and lots of good comments and stuff like that was really encouraging. But of course, I always want to hear what you have to think. So please let me know about that, just in case it ever happens again. Finally, in the end, though, I want to say a big thanks to all the people who came out and took the time to vote and comment and make this whole thing as enjoyable for me. I was really excited to see who you chose and things like Strike Freedom going out and things like that, completely unexpected, but always welcome to keep this whole thing lively. So thanks to you for watching all this way and participating because that was great. And a big congratulations to the fans of Gundam Wing who despite losing two out of three from the anime, were able to keep it through and have this one crowned a champion. So 15 years now, it's nostalgia. You know, UC fans would write off Wing as being new, but now it's pretty old school compared to something like Unicorn. But anyway, it got a lot of people into this whole hobby, and it's good to see that the fans are still sticking around. So Wing Zero, undefeated. Gundam of Gundams, congratulations. Thanks for watching, everybody. of Gundam Fight 14, the Gundam World Cup. Well, it's been a fun ride up to now, and I'm really looking forward to seeing your choice. God damn it. Hmm. But really, you're all winners. Thanks for playing, everybody.